Rich Side Canine coming to you with a little trick of the trade, something that I do a lot of times on dogs that have a really hard time holding place or shaping into place. I'll use a back tie, let me show you how. This border collar right here is driven isn't even the right word, right? The dog is on fire. And um, it's lived way too long with zero control for the most part, so he's wide open. And um, great dog, love dog, super social. Has a real hard time following direction, okay? Real hard time, wants to kind of do his thing at his pace. So good, we gotta train. So behind this dog here, you can see all these chickens. Um, everybody's scratching, moving and grooving, walking around. Over here, we got some dogs out in the run. This prior was very hard for this dog to hold place. So what we're doing now is teaching him it's his behavior, his everything that dictates everything that's happening. So he's back tied right now. Come on, super. I'm gonna go over and reinforce the dog really quick. Ah, that's a bra. Super. Leave him. And again, leash is totally loose as you see right there. He's holding it. This is shaping. We're not free shaping, right? We're using equipment to induce a behavior and then we're rewarding the behavior and later we'll reduce the equipment. Does that make sense? So we're gonna go right now from a pretty solid back tie to a much looser back tie to a super lightweight back tie to no back tie in order to teach him you gotta sit, you can't beat the system, and we go from there. Now, you'd be asking yourself, well, just give him stem, make him sit. <laughs> um, just giving this dog stem by itself does two things. One, he starts to snap that jaw real quick. And two, he goes a thousand miles an hour by the blink of an eye. So I've got to have safety equipment worked in for this particular dog, for this particular task. Rich side canine, keep it simple. Use reliable, proven uh, methodologies. Get success every time.